What if I told you that this project that you're seeing right now is powered by KDE Technologies? And when I first learned about this, I was like, what? But then it was actually true and knowing it all after that actually makes sense. So let's dive into this. <clears throat> Now, this is a product of the tail company and the motto is like, bring life to your cosplay or fursona and being named the tail company, company it actually makes uh, what you would expect out of it. That is, you know, tails that are actually animated and uh, let me allow the tail company to introduce uh, itself. Yeah, it's this. And recently, as I've shown you, they actually make ears as well. And for those ears and tails, they use KD technologies. So I'm going to first of all explain why they use them and then also how, in what aspects of it they use them. As far as the why goes, there is this nice talk at Academy 2020 made by, and I'm going to get the names so wrongly pronounced, Dan Lanier and Andrew. And uh, the important part for us is the second part made by Dan Lanier. And they explain that they discovered this project early on and they were like interested in it. In it. And then they discovered that the way they were making an application to actually control the tail and they were going to make it in Electron. And Lanier was like, N -n don't, which I fully agree, but by the way, I, I do think that Electron is a pretty bad idea. And there's even reasons for that. As an example, uh, tails should be controlled by the app, even if the app is in background and Electron apps in the background apparently don't work so well. That's at least what uh, is said in the talk. So they actually approached the company and they were already a developer for KDE, mostly working through Blue Systems to Kenya Staff, Pros, and Kurigami. And Kurigami is the important part because Kurigami is a toolkit to make applications. It's the KDE toolkit to make applications. So they were like, hey, uh, why don't we just use Kurigami for this? So this is how the relationship between KDE and the Tail company started through then Lanier and Andrew who created the project. So I'm gonna show you the first prototype of this company, which is rather interesting. You can find the video uh, on YouTube. And this is actually, if I understood it correctly, Andrew using the first version of the tail, just going around and even like, <laughs> I, I would actually be so embarrassed to do this, so. Like going to the supermarket with this deal, that, that's actually rather impressive. And then there is this video, which I found very, uh, represents very well the deal. Yeah, so how do it, this thing use KD technologies? So right now, three things. As I've mentioned, uh, the application is done through Kurigami, which is KDE's toolkit to make applications. So that was an easy start. But then there is this thing that KDE has a very big resource that we probably give as users for granted, and it's not, and that is icons. So to do applications, you need icons and KDE has a lot of them. So when I see people asking, why don't we just redesign KDE icons? And like, you know, there's thousands and thousands of them, right? And they are actually a lot. And Breeze icons are actually used by third-party companies just because they need icons and KDE has a lot of them. So the little company also uses KDE technologies as in icons, and that's already a good start. Also, finally, third thing is the Android build system because KDE also manages uh, applications that are done uh, for Android. As an example, we do have like K Algebra that works nicely on Android and other applications as well. And the Android system to actually build apps for Android 
is quite complex and apparently you don't quite want to deal with it unless you have to. So Kitty has built its own thing that the company uses to deliver their applications in Android. But it doesn't stop there. They also have plans for the future to actually have more, to actually, sorry, rely more on KDE technologies. One thing about the movement of the tail is that it should be customizable and they are apparently working on some sort of markup language to actually express how the tail or ears, I guess, should behave. And those files could be distributed as plugins through KNU Stuff. Now, KNU Stuff, if you don't know what that one is, is the thing that appears whenever you try to download something from the KD store. This thing here, listing all of the plugins of KD Plasma, is get key new stuff and it is implemented for like applets but also color schemes or plasma themes or whatever and you could also use it just as is for other things such as tail moving i guess and since you know it uses so much KD technologies, there's also talks about making sure that the applications works nicely on Plasma Mobile. So if you use Plasma Mobile daily and you want an application to control your tail, I, it seems very weird to me that there is an intersection between people who want a animated tail and people using Plasma Mobile, but if there is, then the tail company is working on it. So right now, if you go to the Play Store or even iOS Store and you search for Crumpet, which is the name of the application to manage the tail company, you do actually get this UI, which is made in Kurigami. And since it is made for in Kurigami, in theory, it should be very easy to put this to be convergent. So also using it on tablets or even computers and also Plasma Mobile, as I was saying. You can see the sidebar is Kurigami. It just feels like a... <coughs> so to sum it all up, a couple of things. I, I, I'm, just, I'm just impressed by this project. Like in all of the projects that rely on KD technologies, I totally did not expect this one. And when I first learned about this, I was super impressed. And they even have like tales by like famous, uh, Victorian, Victorian characters like the red panda tail and the tail from Genshin Impact. And you can like customize the middle tail to look like those apparently. So uh, to be honest, when I, when I saw this, I, I was super tempted to try to buy one, which brings me by the way to the second point, which is that talking about this project, you might, you, you might think that this is, video is sponsored in any way by them. And no, they didn't ask to make this video. They're not paying me. Obviously, I did not receive any free uh, tail. Of course, if I were to receive a tail, I would totally wear it. But um, currently, the only people sponsoring my videos are my Patreons. And it's the only reason why I'm able to do this kind of videos. So if you want to help me out, then there's a Patreon, there's a PayPal, there's a LibraPay, there's a YouTube subscription method, something. So just feel free to help me out because I'm a student, I don't have a job and you know how it is if you've been a student. So thanks everybody. I hope that you learned about a new cool project that uses KDE today. And I really wanted to talk about it because I mean, it's a project that uses KDE, I love KDE and I think that more projects should use KDE. So see you in the next video tomorrow.